Hey guys, it's Chris Mitchell with Devil Cat Amplifiers and CMG Guitars. I've gotten a lot of requests for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and post this video to the internet to help all you guys out understand the Jimmy just a little bit better and what we're making down here in Statesboro, Georgia. It's every working man's dream. So this amplifier is designed for all you guys that play in a lot of bands out there and are playing a lot of different styles. Uh, for me, I do about 100 shows a year. So it really answers all the needs that I have for an amplifier. That way you won't have to have a lot of stomp boxes on the ground. You won't have to go to a lot of pedals. The amp will get a lot of the tones you need. But you know, instead of me talking about it, let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. Now, a lot of guys have asked me, hey, can you put a, a Strat style guitar on there? So I am, I'm gonna put our CMG Diane. And one thing about this guitar, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys out there for you gearheads, is that I'm using DiMarzio Area 67 pickups. The reason why that's important is because they're not only incredible at the uh, single coil clean sound, but they're fantastic overdrive or heavy overdrive gain. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and engage the heavy overdrive channel right now on the bridge pickup, and you don't hear any hum. I've already engaged it, and there's the nice crunch, but there's no hum coming out of the guitar or the amplifier. The amp just sounds great on single coil, and it sounds great on humbuckers, which you're gonna hear in just a minute. A lot of guys have asked me to play it through a single coil, and they wanna hear what it sounds like. Here's what it sounds like. Let's talk about the features of the amp, though. First of all, we're gonna talk about, I have a dirt stage in this amp. So let's say you're playing on a clean and you want that nice kind of rockabilly sound. It's a great sound on that as well. Now let's say you're in a band and you like the kind of sound that really you're kind of a southern rock blues player and you really don't need anything too heavy. You need clean, you need dirty, and you need a little dirtier and that's all you really need. I'm going to go ahead and show you on that. I've got the dirt on 12 o'clock but I've got my volume set as a boost. When the volume of the dirt channel is at 12 o'clock it retains the same volume level of the clean or whatever channel you're on. So I'm going to pull my gain down on my overdrive channel and here's my clean on the bridge pickup. Nice clean sound. Now I want to go to my overdrive and I engage that. What's going to happen, it gives you a nice, a nice rich bottomed out sound on the overdrive. It's kind of a little more jangly than the dirt because the dirt is the only part of the amp that uses a diode. Everything else is all 6L62 based. I've got 12 AX7s in the free, 112 AT7 in the um, power amp section, and of course two 6L6s. So I'm going to go ahead and let you hear the overdrive sound as I kick it in. And that's the overdrive when I pull the gain all the way down. This is what the dirt sounds like when it's over the clean. It's very similar to the overdrive. Now let's hear what it sounds like when I'm playing the overdrive, but I decide to give it that overdrive punch and boost it in. What you're gonna get is you're gonna get a saturated overdrive sound that really brings out the mids, okay? Here's your clean. Here's the, uh, the dirt channel. Here's the overdrive stacked. And it's just a great sound. And for a lot of you guys out there that are either playing rockabilly or you're playing that wanted that hot rod sound or blues or rock, this amp really delivers that tone. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and look at it with some humbuckers. We'll be right back with those humbuckers. All right guys, Chris back again with the humbucker guitar. Of course, this is our Ashley model, our CMG. Now, the Jimmy that we're, we're doing today, of course, I wanna tell you that we're also recording with the reverb tank on. I, I didn't wanna record this dry because if I recorded it dry and then added reverb in post-production, that would give you a false sense of what the reverb tank actually sounds like. 
you're hearing the real reverb tank come through the microphone. And the beauty of that is, is that uh, it's not something I can alter after the fact. I really wanted you guys to hear that nice vintage reverb tank. It is spring reverb for those of you out there wondering. And also, let me tell you a little bit of the technical side of the recording for those of you guys out there that are really gearheads and want to know. Um, I'm using a Sennheiser E609 microphone. It's got a great wide diaphragm, which will help get those nice crunchy lows and those bottom ends. But it's also really nice for picking up a great, great nice high and mid range. So I really like that microphone on my cabinet. I'm also running through a Motu 896 HD through Logic, uh, excuse me, Logic Pro. And of course, that gives you a great, a great preamp sound. I really like those preamps in the Motu. And uh, it's, I've got no effects on this. I'm not doing any mastering. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a good, clean, direct line recording. And of course, it is microphone on the, uh, on the lower speaker. Now, the, the actual amp that you heard on the Premiere Guitar video was a Celestian based uh, cabinet. I've been playing that one personally live for the last about seven months before we released the amp. But the interesting thing is about this one is this is the 212. You got a 12 at the bottom and a 12 at top. And of course, this is using the Jensen Falcon. This is the Jensen Jet Falcon. It's a great speaker, but we consider it to have a lot more fizz. It's just got that fizz in the mid-range that kind of cuts through. So for the, the crunchier metal stuff I'm going to show you guys today, I really want to have that speaker to show you because it really does do that style of music justice. But let's go ahead and hear it on clean. Let's see if you can hear what the humbucker sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bridge pickup so you can hear how bright that is. It's got that nice country twang because again, we designed the front end to be just as good as the overdrive. It has a nice, nice round bottom. I think you're gonna agree. Now let's go ahead and hear what the dirt sounds like on the uh, bridge pickup on this guitar. Really nice sound. And of course, then we can also engage the heavy overdrive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay on the bridge, but I'm also gonna let you hear what that sounds like uh, with a little bit more of the uh, dirt engaged as well. Here's the, uh, just the bridge sound on just the overdrive. <laughs> Here's a little tune that, uh, that I wrote years ago, and I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the overdrive on, and then you're going to hear the engaged, and the engaged sound of the dirt channel, which is going to give you a nice saturation. And here's uh, just a little riff out there. Try that again. Now I'm going to saturate that tone, and you're going to hear a lot more mids, a lot more punch your gain in there. All right, that's a nice, nice crunchy mid gain in there. Now let's 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 have a little fun with this thing. Let's uh let's drop tune and let's actually see everything this amp can do. I'm gonna give you some low, low, low growl here. All right, what I'm gonna do too is I'm actually gonna turn the gain all the way up. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give that overdrive gain all the way to 11. I'm going to push it over the ledge there, push it over the ledge. And then of course, I'm going to take the dirt and I'm going to give it all that gain too. I'm really going to push this thing. And just to show you, you metal guys out there and you guys that like a nice, heavy, fat, crunchy tone, what this amp is capable of doing. All right, here we go. Here's the regular overdrive. <laughs> Now 
Now I'm gonna saturate that gain and let it rattle your skulls, all right? Let's see how, how this thing sounds. Now, I think that reverb tank is still shaking. No, I, actually that was the, uh, the high gain coming through the amp. It's, uh, a lot of people have said, you know, hey man, this amp is so quiet. How did you get it so quiet? And down the road, I'm gonna show you guys how we built the chassis and how we designed it so that it lets minimal interference in this amp. Um, you can have your cell phone right on top of the amp. Of course, when it rings, it actually will not pick up in the amp, which is pretty pretty good feat of engineering. Cost us more to make it that way, but we did it. One of the things is that we did is we're only an hour west of Savannah, right by the beach. So I do a lot of shows in Savannah. A lot of that night air coming off that water can corrode an amp that doesn't have a solid chassis. That's why we designed our metal chassis out of galvanized steel. It's a very thick grade galvanized steel. And then of course we went the step further and we didn't just paint the coat, we actually didn't, excuse me, we just didn't paint the front of the chassis, we actually powder coated it, making it that much more resistant to you scratching it, that much more resistant to bad weather, or just anything else that comes along, like a beer or something on the amp, if that's ever happened to you guys. Now, um, people say, okay, Chris, how much do you actually build in the United States? How much of this amplifier is actually made in America? And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, all of it. The cool thing about that is, is for example, our handle comes from Pennsylvania. Our Tolex comes from Rhode Island. Our grill cloth comes from South Carolina. The dye from our grill cloth comes from Georgia. Our Devil Cat logos are made in Ohio. Our actual knobs are made in Ohio. The cool thing is, is the chassis, the cabinet, and all of the circuitry is built here, right here in Statesboro. We get our circuit boards made in Oregon, and of course they send it to us, and then we do all of the assembly in our location, just, uh, just about an, an hour from our downtown location. Excuse me. About, about five minutes from our downtown location. It's an hour if you drive there 20 times, but that's, that's beside the point. Anyway, I wanna let you guys know that this amp is about as American as you can get. Now our speakers, when you're talking about Jensen, they're from Italy. Our uh, tubes are actually from Russia, obviously. And if we choose the Celestium Vintage 30, sometimes we do get those, and of course those are manufactured in China. But uh, this amp is about as American as you can get. And Devil Cat amplifiers, I want you guys to check this stuff out. We're gonna be posting more videos soon. Check us out on YouTube. And uh, thank you, I wanna give a good shout out to uh, everybody at Premier Guitar. They did a great job helping us at NAMM and they were a pleasure to work with. So thank you so much, Premier Guitar. And thank you everybody out there that's shown us so much support because our guitars did win Best of Show in NAMM. We're very happy about all that. So again, until next time, I'm Chris Mitchell.